I always recommend most creative professional calibrate your display luminance level between 80 to 120 candela. This is if you have a software and a hardware calibrated display. It really doesn't matter at all. Let's find out together why this is a range and not an exact value and why I recommend this range. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. In some videos demo on this channel, I may have done a calibration using an arbitrary value, for example, 100 or 80 or 120, whatever that may be, but that always fall within the 80 to 120 candela range. The reason why I recommend this range rather than a fixed value is so that you can choose the best luminance point that fits in your environment and the workflow that you have. We have to consider the environment that we're in because every time you walk into an editing location or an editing computer, for every different studio, the lighting is going to be different. You may have some light coming in a room where calibrating it to 120 is going to benefit you much more than calibrating at 80. Some locations are going to be so dark that 80 is going to work perfect for them. This is something that you have to determine. For me, I have been calibrating 80 candela for the past 20 years. It has been working great. It may be slightly darker than the print that's coming out, but that's okay because I can always adjust it to be a little bit brighter and that's going to look amazing on my print. But what I don't want to have is a print coming out dark because that means I have to constantly send the print back to either the printer or print out more sheets and spend more money on ink, spend more time and also on paper as well. And as we are finding out, even though you have a printer that you can print in-house, ink and paper are definitely not cheap. That being said, we also have to consider our biology and our physiology as well. Every one of us perceive color and luminance level differently. So the range is to accommodate for the way how we see. For instance, I may think that 80 works best for what I'm printing when I'm using the proper calibrated light bulb or you know a light bank, whatever that may be, to view the print. However, for you, it may be 120 or it may be 100 candela. The best thing that you can do for your situation is to test the luminance range. The thing that you can do to choose the best optimal brightness value for your display is to run a calibration test. I recommend starting 80 and increasing the increment or the luminance level by 10 nits or 10 candela each time. This way you get to see which one is going to match best with your print and the environment that you're working in. One other reason too why this is a range is because our biology and our physiology are all different. We see and perceive color, including brightness, very differently from one person to the next. This is why choosing the range that best work for what you need is going to be crucial in order to get the display to match the print. When calibrating our display, we also have to take into account that many of the pro displays that we're using nowadays can show a max brightness between 300 to 600 nits. Sometimes it can even go higher. And the thing is that 80 to 120 is going to be the optimal range that you want to calibrate your display in. Going anything below 80 nits, what you're really doing is you're compressing the tone on your display so much already. For instance, take a display that can show 300 nits at the maximum brightness value. If you're calibrating your display, say to 100, you're only outputting one third of the brightness. That's definitely going to change the color output on the display because at each different brightness or luminance value, the color output changes for any light bulb or anything that you see, including the backlight that's in our display as well, which is important for us to calibrate it at the luminance range that we want. The same is also for a higher nit display. Take for instance, a 500 nit display for instance, and we calibrate it to 100 candela, you're outputting only 20% of that range. So it's crucial that we target and calibrate that specific range output so that we get to see the most accurate color possible. The range of 80 to 120 is not an arbitrary number that I've come up with. It's actually a tested value that works really well. Going anything below 80, what we're really starting to do is that we're compressing a tone on our display so much, and that's not going to produce a good color anymore. That's why 80 is the minimum value that I recommend. Going anything above 120, can you use it in your display calibration? Absolutely. The issue with going over 120 nit is that if you ever sent your image to print, it's going to come out dark and your display is going to look perfect, where the print's going to look great. We have to remember that on our display, it's almost as if we have an infinite dynamic range that we can use to adjust and calibrate our print. We can go up to this brightness and it will still look good because these are backlight materials and they're constantly changing based on what we need. When we look at a print, those are really finite dynamic range material and they don't really change. Even though you may change the lighting that you're viewing the print or the intensity 
of the light that you're viewing the print, that's going to change very little the way how that print is going to look. It may look slightly brighter to you, but it's rarely going to change how that print is actually coming out. So even if you have already a dark print, putting more light on it is not necessarily going to help that print look any lighter by any means at all. So I hope that you're able to find this information on display calibration and luminance range helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified, and until next time, in Art Retrust.